guys welcome back to my channel so today I'm gonna to be doing a celebrity inspired hair tutorial for you guys and I've been filling this girl's hair every single time Real Housewife of Atlanta comes on so Sheree Whitfield or better known as Sheree Whitfield Bob Bob no Bob's is Bob Whitfield I don't know what's his name Bob's ex-wife so Sheree on Real Housewives of Atlanta, known as the owner of Chateau Charay, okay, her hair for the confessionals. The confessional part is on point. So the hair that I use is from the Outre Gym collection. This is their 100% human hair. I did a um, hair tutorial using this hair, and you'll see that it's the beginning phase of this hair, how I actually cut it into a bob and uh, applied it to my hair, made a U-cap, uh, a U-part wig and everything. Um, so this is a quick weave, but it is sewn down to my head. There's no glue on my hair whatsoever. So it's a great protective style for both relaxed and natural hair ladies. I did use my favorite heating tool. Well, it's not my favorite because I love a flat iron, but to curl my hair, I love using a curly one because it's just easy. It takes the guesswork out of curling your hair. This is the uh, Irresistible Me 8-in-1 Sapphire Curly One. So if you guys are interested and want to see how I came about getting this hairstyle, then stay tuned. All right, guys. So first, I'm going to section up my hair and just make it easier for me to be able to grab smaller pieces and wrap around the curly one. So like I mentioned before, I'm going to be using my Sapphire Curly Wand from Irresistible Me. It has eight different attachments and I am using the smallest barrel for me to get smaller ringlet curls so that I can finger comb through the curls and get more of a messy wavy bob that I'm going for. And after uh, I curl each piece, I'm just going to let it be. I'm not going to finger comb or anything like that. I'm just going to let it sit like that and cool off and then we're going to finger comb it at the end. So the key to getting this messy bob and getting a more full look, you need to alternate the way of the direction that you curl each piece of hair. So every strand that I'm curling, I alternate the direction that I'm curling. So one strand would be curled going forward and the other strand would be curled going backwards. So as you can see here, I'm curling some of the hair going forward and now I'm going to go take this piece and curl that one backwards. So I alternate the curl so that I can get a full look. Alright, so now that we have that side done, we're going to move on over to my right side, your left. And we're going to go ahead and alternate those curls on that side as well. So I have curled all around. The back might be a little messy so of course I couldn't see what I was doing. I was just grabbing pieces and curling. But I finished curling the entire head and I have not finger curled or anything. I wanted my entire head to cool off. This is my Design Essentials Holding Spray and I love this spray. It's actually for relaxed and natural hair. So it actually holds my hair pretty, pretty darn good for it to be natural, you know. So uh, it really does an amazing job on extensions as well. So just gonna shake it up and I'm gonna lightly spritz it. I'm just gonna My Design Essentials Natural. This is the Honey and Shape Edge Tamer, and this is what it looks like. And I really, really love this stuff. And also my my little Edge Control Brush. It smells so good. And I just brush it down. And this is how I tame. So actually, I was told that it was my hair was too curly, so I'm going to just finger comb it. 